Um, you guys are in Bangladesh now. You guys come off a very good series, I felt, against West Indies not that long ago. So some good momentum that you guys can take into what is quite an important um, TT series. Yeah, very much so. I think we can draw a lot of inspiration and confidence from uh, the West Indies series uh, and highlight on a lot of positives that we do well. But obviously, we've had some good time to reflect and work on things and areas that we can get better at. Uh, I think we had a good build-up in terms of the camp, the pre-camp uh, prior to departing for Bangladesh. And then whilst uh, it's been two solid days of training, another two days to go. And I think the boys are just excited to get on the field. We, we know Bangladesh... Uh, are really good uh, competitors in their own conditions as well. But, you know, we also want to break the stereotype of being able to win away from home, especially in the subcontinent conditions. I know the guys have been really being precise uh, with their practice and, and really finding ways to sort of combat the conditions that we potentially could be faced with. And just to follow up on that, um, I'm sure on a personal level, you're really looking forward to the subcontinent conditions of spinning. And I'm sure you're not the only spinner in the team. PTZ, there's a couple of them. So that's going to be quite a big role that you guys are all going to have to play over the next two tests. Yeah, very much so. I think uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. It's been a couple of years since we toured the subcontinent. Uh, but I'm just focusing on my processes and, you know, putting the ball in the right areas and trying to make it as uncomfortable for the batters as possible and hopefully get the rewards. I, I know the other spinners are also looking forward to it. There's been good communication and chats in and amongst training and, you know, with regards to our meetings about, you know, sort of thinking about tactics and fields and, uh, and you know, lines and lengths that we potentially could bowl in the series. But I think as a group, we're learning, we're learning together. Uh, we, there's a lot of communication uh, from the coaches as well. So, you know, we're trying to be one step ahead of the oppo opposition and hopefully with all that information, we can translate it on the field and, and get good rewards from that. And if I can just single out one player that I find quite interesting is the inclusion of Gil Brevis. We all know his potential. He's going to get a first crack at Test cricket. So uh, a massive tour for him as well. And he's already... Uh, with the IPL being on the subcontinent, so that's nothing strange to him. So it could be quite exciting to see him being unleashed. Yeah, definitely. I think if you look at Brevi, he comes with a pedigree. Um, you know, there's not many that put uh, that sort of have his skill sets and potential that that he has at, at, such, at such a tender age. And you know, to see him go about his business with both bat and ball uh, in the nets is quite encouraging to see. Uh, I'm sure at some stage he will get his opportunity and, you know, hopefully he can grab it with both hands. He's a great kid, been spending quite a bit of time with him off the field, uh, quite a funny character and, you know, the boys have enjoyed him very much so and he's settled in quite nicely. So, you know, hopefully when his time comes, uh, all the, the, the sort of uh, welcome, welcoming that he had from all the players can translate on the field to make him be the best version of himself when his opportunity does come about.